What's going down, YouTube? Eyes and ears tactical. <clears throat> Back with another video. 22s. We're talking about 22 LR, man. 22 LR. I've been hearing a lot of discussion. Some myths, some facts, <laughs> a little bit of everything. Before you get started, man, I just want to tell YouTube, hey, man, safe control environment. Everything's going to be unloaded. There are some mags, but they won't be nothing going on, racking them, putting them all up in there, just, just showing the mags, how they fit, and things of that nature. I did upload this video, so clearly everything's safe. I did click the 18 and over for my content. Uh, once again, there's no children. There's nobody around by myself, all right? So yeah, man, 22LR, man. I just wanted to get into it and talk about it a little bit of it. I got a couple clips to drop in. Uh, first thing I want to say is uh, when it comes to 22LR, you got the, you got it in a, you got it in a long rifle. I mean, you got it in a rifle version. You got pistol version. I happen to have a couple of myself. Uh, this is my 22LR pistol. As you can see, it's unloaded. The chamber's open. There's no magazine in there. It's a 1911 style uh, GSG. I got this when I was in California. Uh, I couldn't be happier than with this with this firearm. Adjustable sights. Uh, three dot sight system. Uh, very very reliable pistol. Worked all the kinks out of it. Uh, you know, in a 1911 uh, platform, you know, you really, you get a flat shooting 22 LR and it's budget friendly. And the point of this video is if someone's watching this, now this one has, you know, the thumb safety and it has the grip safety right here. Uh, if someone's watching this and thinking like, man, I can't, I would love that. I can afford 22 LR, man, but people tell me it's not uh, good for home defense or self-defense. Uh, they're wrong, man. These things can, can be excellent for home defense and self-defense you just got to work out a few things figure a few things out about them the first thing you got to uh, understand is the ammo when you if i'm going to use this for an example like this box of ammo right here this federal box ammo 22 lr 40 grain this is lead I, I bought this in wyoming like about 10 years ago and this stuff is not what you want to really use uh, on 22 lr because it is real dirty and it kind of gunks up your firearm and it's just not really ideal for me now some people are gonna say oh yeah i'll use this i ain't got no problem with it but it depends on what what 22 you got but for the most part this is a real dirty uh ammunition right here and it's not really conducive if you're trying to have a reliability and that's why when you go to the gun store you'll see this stuff is cheap like uh, this is way before covid this is i don't know i got this in wyoming this is this stuff is so old, I don't even know how much it was, but I believe it's, uh, I don't know, it was like 500 rounds. I don't know, 275 rounds for like like 12 bucks. So that just goes to show you, you know, so 22 LR, you gotta be careful with that part. Now what I use for my 22 LR, is I use CCI. And here's a couple CCIs. Uh, this is the uh, CCI that I use. And then when you buy CCI, you got to read the little label right here, like how it says varmint, and then it says target and varmint. Varmint is basically a uh, jagged hollow point, and these are ball tips, and these are the stingers. Uh, really good ammo right here. I don't have a problem with using CCI, and I don't have a problem with uh, Winchester Super X, another good ammo. So you got to figure out the ammo, and that's just going to take time for you shooting it and going to the range and stuff like that. So I want to just get into that now. One of the things that, one of the biggest myths is that 22 LR can't be uh, uh, used for home defense or self-defense, or it basically, if people look at it like, oh, it's a BB gun. Oh, it, that, that ain't gonna do nothing. So stand by, let me show you a clip of one of the guys I watched, 704 Tactical. Uh, he's a big time gun tuber, but uh, he, he makes some pretty good videos. And I took a clip from one of his videos and he's showing basically how 22 LR is very, very lethal and is very powerful. It's a high velocity cartridge and he's doing a demonstration on a vehicle. So check this clip out real quick. This is showing the impact that it can make. Let's see if a car can actually stop a 22 long rifle. So I figured the best shot is to put it through a long rifle. So this is about a, I think it's like a 16 and a half inch barrel. We're at 15 yards. I'm gonna fire five shots and I've got a target propped up behind the door. So let's see if a car door can stop a 22. Let's go check it out. 
So you can see one, two, three, four, five. This was a hole from where I was shooting earlier, and this is actually an exit hole from around. So you can see the five hits, but let's see if they made it through and checked the target. And they did so. One, two, and there is a piece of the door. Three. So we definitely have entry holes, and the door could not stop a 22 um, out of a rifle. So that is pretty cool that some of them got stopped up inside the door, but most of them actually made it through and punctured. So I don't think a door is going to protect you. Okay, you saw that. I'm back. You saw that clip. So that just goes to show, I mean, if you can shoot through a car door, then what do you think it's going to do to soft tissue? And what I like about that video a lot he was using my 22 LR. <laughs> so it's clear weapon, YouTube, clear weapon, chambers open, no magazine in there, clear. So he was using the MMP. This is the MMP 1522. He was using this right here. And this is a very nice 22 LR. And I got this like, I think this was actually during COVID because I didn't have any 22s and I really wanted one just to train, you know, with the AR because the ammo was so high. So I went and got the MP22. And when I bought it during COVID in California, I believe I paid about, I paid a little bit more than what they are right now. I think I paid like 450 for this, 445, not include taxes and stuff like that. But uh threw an ambidextrous charging handle on here. Threw that on there. You know, I threw a mag pole grip. Um actually this is mission first tactical. And uh, my buddy gave me this hand stop right here. Pretty, pretty nice little hand stop and I keep uh, some rounds shoved up in there just in, just in case, you know, you're in a jam and you don't have any more rounds. So I got like 10 rounds jammed up in there. That could be probably used for something a little bit more utilitarian, you know, but hey, you know what? What's wrong with having extra rounds, right? So I got that up in there, adjustable stock. Uh, what can you say, man? 22 LR rifle, you really can't go wrong with that. Um, it's a really nice plankster, man. It's a really nice gun. And this is what he used in the video to show the, uh, the impact of the, uh, on that car. So this is another viable option. Uh, again, I'm not saying you have to buy these 22 LR. I'm just saying these are the ones I have. And, you know, it, I, I have not had any problem with this. Uh, as far as mags go, this has a lot of mag capacity. You know, you get the 25 rounder in an unrestricted states. Okay, and then in the restricted states, they have uh, the 10 round ones. So these are basically the same. These are basically the same body. It's just that one holds 10 and one holds 25. So when I got mine, it was Freedom Week. So I, so I got I got this with my 25 rounder and then I bought a 10 rounder. And so this is how that looks up inside of there. So that's how that would look. Okay, take that out. And also what's great is that they sell MMP, these are all MMP mags. So these are MMP mags. These are not uh, aftermarket mags. They sell the shorties too. So you can get the shorty mags. And these are ideal for hunting. Like I said, having that big long thing hey, hanging. You just have a couple of these in your pocket and that gives you a much lower profile when you're angling around trees and bushes or even home defense if you wanted to, you know what I mean? So I like that. I like those mags too. Definitely will be keeping them. Definitely, definitely keeping them. So this is my other 22 LR. And uh, yeah, man, you can't go wrong. I think these right now looked on a uh, was it Palmetto or somebody had this for four nineteen. So very affordable firearm right here. Okay, now so you saw the impact on that vehicle. So clearly, uh, it, it can get it done. And uh, so if you're thinking like, oh man, if you, someone pulls a twenty two out on you and you think it's a BB gun, you you won't be with us any longer. Uh, you're definitely going to be gone. Uh, so. I just want to make sure we understand it. Now, the next point I want to was create that you always hear negativity on 22LR. You hear it a lot. Uh, you hear, uh, man, they, they, they're not accurate, man. They don't act, the bullets tumble and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, wind's going to have an effect on the 22LR bullet. Absolutely. The wind's definitely going to have an effect on the 22LR. But that doesn't mean this thing ain't accurate because I tell you right now, the one thing you don't get with this, you do not get recoil. So you stay, your shots stay flat. They stay on target. Uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, all that boom, 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 boom. boom. You know, like once you start shooting, pop, 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 the gun doesn't move. So, yes, they're very accurate, which brings me to my next clip from the video. Stand by real quick.
Okay, here we go. We got uh, my man, 22 Plankster, man. He's trying to do a 700-yard shot with a 22 LR bolt-action rifle. Um, if you look at when you see the target, you'll see a yellow plate. And then you see two poles, one pole to the left, one pole to the right. But the Coke can is right underneath the yellow plank. Let's check it out. 700 yards. So if someone thinks a 22 LR can't be accurate, you're wrong. Got it! I hit it! <laughs> yes! Woo! Coke can at 100 yards. Oh, not 100 yards. Coke can at 100 yards is pretty easy. Coke can at 700 yards. It's possible, but I'm not even going to try hoping sights with the Ruger 1022 because I'd be aiming past the top of those trees down there. That's pretty Going sick. Down there. Okay, you saw it. Now, that was my man, uh, 22 Plankster. Uh, that guy's a really good guy. I've been watching him for years. He's the one kind of inspired me to get into the 22 game. And he re all the guns I got, he reviewed and, did, and said, hey, these are all viable options. Now, that one he was shooting with, that's a high-end scope, high-end rifle, bolt action rifle, and high-end ammo. You know, it was, it's, it's 22 LR ammo, it's affordable, but it's probably the best. He probably worked all that out, and you can see the whole video, you can go check it out. But he cleaned the barrel out, did all that kind of stuff, wait for the nice calm day with no wind. Uh, that was a 700 yard shot, man. So you gotta figure, self-defense or home defense, you ain't shooting 700 yards, man. This man hit a Coke can 700 yards with a 22 LR bolt action rifle. And I know, like I said, the scope and all that, that, that factors in. And he's a great shooter himself. But he didn't get that on that first round. He, he shot about 30 rounds to get that shot. I watched the whole video. But I just clipped out the part when he made it. So I just want to bring that part up. Is, uh, that these things, here's my other 22 LR, my uh, GSG uh, 15, uh, 16, I mean, I'm sorry. And uh, this is a clear weapon to YouTube chamber. Open, no magazine in there. Uh, you get your adjustable stock. Kind of like a fake... Uh, uh, um, Maxim Defense, you know, PDX stock. Uh, this is a, another great uh, $22. I got the fake. It's kind of like the fake MP5, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the slap. So, yeah, you get that. Pretty fun, you know what I'm saying? Fall suppressor. This is not a suppressor. It's a fall suppressor, barrel shroud. So this is a very nice one, too. Uh, this is super fun. When I bring this to the rank, everybody wants to shoot this. And this is ambidextrous, so you can put it on this side too, or you can put it on this side. So, yeah, this thing is super accurate. Super accurate. Now, that's why I don't put a scope on it or anything, because I don't really need one. It comes around the box, it just shoots super flat. And this one comes with, uh, if you're in a restricted state, they got the 10 round mags right here. That's how that looks. Ambidextrous uh, safety selectors too on both sides. That's how that looks. And then and they got a little place where you can store a mag right here. You can put one there, but also in an unrestricted state, they have the 22 round mags. Uh, you can put those up in there. That's how that looks, with the 22 round mags. And if they also have a 110 round drum for this thing too, and I saw a review and it actually ran. So that's how that looks, with the 22 rounders in there. And this thing is super accurate, man. I mean, let me tell you, this is a very accurate firearm. Can't go wrong with this thing right here. So the dope, that's the that's the ones that I have. And I probably won't be buying any more 22 LRs. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not, but I just I just think they're super fun. And like I said, they all have a purpose. Um, this is just super fun to plank with. And I like that fake MP, MP5 look. And this one is like a training rifle for AR-15 because it's the exact same setup. All the functions, controls, and features. It's just that you're shooting 22 LR. So that's what this one's for. That's when I want to stay in tune with my AR-15 without shooting 5.56. Five, and this is strictly for just having fun. But this could be also a great home defense uh, or truck gun or something like that. You can't have 22 LR for truck guns, guys. I'm just trying to tell you because they're accurate and they uh, they don't have no recoil. So you're getting more shots down range. You just got to be efficient at uh, you know, clearing a jam every now and then and just get back in it. But that's easy. All you got to do is train with that. So those are a couple things that I wanted to point out. And the other thing I want to point out about 20 LR is uh, the lethality of it all. So let's, let's check out this clip right here. Stand by real quick. Okay, so this clip is from like three years ago in Texas. I'm sure everybody heard about it. But the reason why I'm bringing this up because 
two things, a couple, a lot of things went wrong here. First of all, he should never went by the house without, you know, contacting authorities and all that kind of stuff. But he also, he disrespected the guy because he had a 22 rifle in him and now he's no longer with us. So let's take a look at this clip, see what we can learn because I keep telling people a 22 long rifle is a lethal projectile, man. And this guy clearly didn't think it was a big deal when he tried to take the gun from him and all this kind of stuff. And Texas has stand your ground and it just didn't turn out well, man. Let's take a look. Karuth shoots at Chad's feet. Then Chad appears to reach toward the gun. That's when Karuth fires two fatal shots. So far, no charges have been filed in the case. Did you ever... Okay, I'm back. So you saw that. Now, that was an old clip from like three or four years ago. Uh, that guy made a bad decision, man. He made a bad decision. Uh, you know, and it, that's why I was saying you in those, those custody battles and you separated from your baby's mom and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you... You know, you got to really walk a fine line and uh, walk a fine line and make sure that you don't uh, go over there looking for some mess. And if you already know your ex is already messy, you know, you might want to go through the proper authorities, uh, DHS, uh, whatever you call it, uh, CPS, wherever state you, wherever they call it. You want to go through those people, man, and then be escorted by uh, law enforcement, uh, you know, before you even go over there. Because you don't want to go over there and have a problem, then have law enforcement come. But the guy made a big mistake though, like, cause the guy pulled a gun out and said, hey, get off my property. So you're in Texas, you're in Texas and you know, stand your ground, no trespassing, don't get off my property. Yeah, I'm just stepdad or whatever it may be. But that man was, was defending his property. Now, did he kind of, did he have to go all the way there with a gun and all that? Maybe he didn't, but you know, he treated that gun like it was a BB gun and he found out, he tested, he got the temperature check and he found out that that gun was lethal. And he, so that's kind of sad that little girl loses her dad and uh, over, over, over something frivolous. That was just stupid, you know? But I hope everybody realized that uh, these firearms are definitely, uh, these 22 LR fire are high velocity firearms. Uh, this GSG right here, just let you know, they, what I like about this uh, pistol right here, they come with the metal mags. These are empty, as you can see, metal mags. Uh, these are uh, 14 rounds. It comes with 10 rounders though, but I put a put a, these followers in there and it holds four extra. Um, and they just got to I just love that drop. Like, look at that drop. Just, I mean, this is a sweet firearm right here. And uh, so you just got to be careful. I got four of these, four of these mags right here. So that's pretty much all I have and I won't be buying anymore. But when you buy this GSG, I will say, uh, buy the ones for the GSG. Uh, 22 LR. Don't don't get the uh, Firefly. Get the actual ones. I heard some bad things about them. So make sure you buy the ones that it actually th that comes with the gun, and uh, you won't have no problems with this thing. But I just want to bring that up, man. Like, uh, be careful uh, underestimating the uh, lethality of a 22 LR cartridge. And if because someone pulls this out on you, and you think like, oh, that's a pea shooter. What are you gonna do with that? Uh, yeah, you, that attitude, you ain't going to be around too much longer. So understand that these things are excellent firearms, in my personal opinion. They're lethal. Um, they can get the job done. They're very versatile, just like a shotgun. You could hunt with this. You can gator hunt with this, small game, big game. All you got to do is get headshots on animals, and then they go down. Now, I wouldn't say try to take a bear out with this or something like that, but you'll be shocked how many animals you can take down with a 22 LR. And that's why a lot of guys who hunt, they have LR pistols for birds and stuff like that, rabbits, and they have these for a little bit larger game. And definitely out here in Louisiana, everybody has 22 LRs when they go gator hunting because when they bring them up off the hooks, they pop them in the top of their head. So, man, I just want to make sure everybody understands 22 LR, man. It's not, it ain't nothing to play with. And like I said, the main thing you got to work on is working out the kinks with the ammunition that you're going to use. That's going to be the critical part. And the other part is you got to keep them really clean. They, they're not like five, five, six and Glock pistols and stuff like that, where you don't have to worry about after a shooting. If you go shooting at the range, you know, do I got to clean it immediately? Uh, yeah, these, you want to kind of clean them definitely after each shoot, especially because you shoot so many rounds through them. And that's what, uh, how they build up so much carbon, you know, and you want to keep them oiled up and everything like that. And you should be fine, man. But I hope these clips help, it help, it helps someone understands uh, the accuracy is definitely there with these firearms. Uh, the the impact is definitely there. You can go through car doors. 
and the, and you know and the accuracy is there so all three of those things are, are, are exist with this fire with these uh with this caliber and just don't underestimate it man and just be safe out there and understand that if this is all you can afford all you got to do is go get ammo all different types of ammo or like i said check out people who already got these guns and just find out what ammo they're using uh, you know, go to a competition, talk to some guys who are in 22LR competition, and they'll let you know, like, oh, run this ammo. For me, I know 36 grain runs great out of all my guns. I can't shoot 40 grain, but I did so much uh, testing that 36 grain is the ideal uh, grain for my for my 22LRs for when I shoot. And I don't have jams, really. You know, every now and then you might have to eject one out or something like that. Or, because a lot of times the, the ammo will be bent. Uh, the tip of the bullet sometimes that's why you buy them in boxes you got to kind of go through it every now and then you'll find one that'll be kind of bent or whatever and that's fine but cci for the most part when you buy them in these hunting around sleeves like this you don't find any they have great quality control on their ammo man i'm just kind of i ain't trying to promote them like they don't sponsor me they never gave me shit i'm just saying that the ammo is, is it works well on my firearms let me know what you guys think about this video let me know what you think about 22 lr do you agree uh, back in the day, in the old mob days, 22 LR was a, the thing to have. Creep up behind somebody, pop, pop, pop. You know, it was just, it was like a poor man's silencer. You don't hear it, you, you know, recoil, uh, very light to carry, and the ammo's cheap, you know. So, very, very fun, very efficient, uh, very versatile, can be used for many applications, and definitely they're lethal, man. Hey, this is your boy Eisen, there's Tactical Man. Let me know uh, if you guys are interested in a. Uh, Buying a patch helps support the channel out. 15 bucks. Hit my email in my channel description. Be greatly appreciated. Um, until the next video, man, I just want to let you guys know, stay safe, uh, stay armed. And if you think about 22LR, man, get you one. They, they're not expensive, man. There's so many miles out there in the market you can buy. Uh, this is the ones I got. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Everybody stay safe.